Hello and welcome everybody, this is Roland Hartmann from graphicinmotion.com and in this tutorial I will show you how to use my light leaks pack, I will show you how to add light leaks to your footage in After Effects and in Premiere Pro. So let's get started with the tutorial and let's jump right into After Effects. In After Effects I set up a simple composition and I used some preview of stock footage from Video Hive. Let's take a look at this footage. You see that this nice girl is, is leading this poor guy here out of the forest. He probably got lost or something. I don't know, but it's a nice shot and you see that really nice uh, footage stabilization here. And we want to increase the look of this footage a little bit by adding some light leaks. So let's take a look at my pack. The Light Leak Pack contains 20 different MP4 files. We have 15 Light Leaks and we have 5 Light Leak Transitions. The Light Leaks all or all files have a resolution of 3840 by 2160 pixels. This is Ultra HD 4K resolution, so really good resolution. And they are all 20 seconds long. The Light Leak Transitions are 2 seconds long and are Light Leaks that are moving uh, over the screen or across the screen so you can use them as transitions or also just as design elements. Now let's take a look how we can use these light leaks. To import a light leak to After Effects you can come in here to your project and you can go to file and choose import file. You could also just double click in the empty area of your project window and then navigate to your light leaks folder or as I will do it you can just Drag one of the light leaks into After Effects directly. I will use light leak number one for now. Drag it into my project window and After Effects will import it. Now let's take the leak and let's drop it on top of our footage. And you see that now it got covered and we cannot see our footage anymore. If I zoom out, you see that the resolution of my leak is way bigger than this preview footage. So I have to scale it down a bit. And therefore I press S on the keyboard and scale it to 25% and now you see that it covers my footage nicely. To make my footage visible now I have to change the blend mode of my light leak either to screen or to add. So if you cannot see this blend mode tab here you can come to this switch here and click it and then it should change the layout and these blend modes here or the blending modes should get visible. You can also press F4 on your keyboard to switch between these two layouts. Now for this example I will use screen because add is a little bit too harsh and now if we create a quick run preview again you see that now we have these nice bouquet effects and these nice light leaks here blending in and you see that our our footage gets uh, more alive and more interesting immediately by adding this leak. If it's too strong I can of course always come in here and take the opacity down just press T on the keyboard and take down the opacity. If you want to, to increase the brightness a bit uh, then you can always set this to add and also maybe decrease the opacity you see this it creates a completely different look here but in my case I prefer screen here and set it to 100. You could also play around with the other options that we have in the blending modes but I recommend to use screen or add. If I want to enhance the look a bit, I could also create a duplicate of this layer. So let's do that and press Ctrl D, create a duplicate, and then set the top layer to add. And now it's really, really strong. So we have to take down the opacity here quite a bit, maybe to something like, I don't know, let's see. Let's try it with 40 for now. And let's take down the opacity of this one too, until it's not that blurred out anymore. So maybe set this to 40. Take this down even a bit further, 25 or something. And now you see we have a nice mixture between the add and the screen leaks. And this is how you can build the look that you are searching for. So just for a moment, I will delete the second layer here, set this to 100% again. And now we will add another leak to make this even a bit more interesting. So let's come to my pack here and let's say we want to add maybe light leak number four. So I drag this in here, same procedure as before, drag it on top of my footage, scale it down. In this case, 25%. If you work with 4K footage, you do not have to scale it, of course and set it to screen. And now you see I added these details here. So you can also combine these leaks and build effects 
by combining different kind of leaks. Now I will show you how you can use one of the transitions. For example, if we want to cut here, right here to another footage at six seconds, then I import one of my light leak transitions. I will take light leak transition number one, drag it in my project and then just add it on top here. And let's see again, scale it down 25% and set it to add. Well, it's very, very strong. So I will decrease the opacity a bit. Or let's set it to screen. Actually, we have already so many light leaks on here. So this is really getting a bit too much. And now you see that let's create a quick RAM preview of this short section here. You see that this transition is coming in from the left and moving across our screen. Let's repeat this. And you could now create a cut right here at the brightest moment. Take all these layers here and split them. So let's edit split layers and delete them. And now we could bring in another footage, um, maybe this one here and just edit it right here. Now let's create another quick RAM preview. And you see that I created this nice transition between the two shots. Another hint, you can also change the speed of the light leak. So let's delete all the light leaks that we have here. Just select the layers and delete them. Let's delete this one too. And let's extend this again. And now let's bring in another light leak. So let's take a leak that has totally different colors. Maybe let's say light leak number 13, which is a bluish tint. And if we apply this now to our footage, so let's drag it on top again, scale it down 25% and let's set the blending mode to screen. You see that it looks nice, but it doesn't really match the colors of my shot. The shot is a warm shot and the light leak is bluish. So it makes not a real sense. And I can change this by adding an effect. I could use hue and saturation, for example. Therefore I type in hue into my effect and presets panel. And then I just drag it on top of my light leak. And with the master hue setting now, I can change the degrees here until the color of my light leak is matching the overall look of my shot. And you see that if I put this to some orange color or yellow color, that it looks quite nice. And now you see we have this nice leak going on here and adding really a nice atmosphere to this shot. And what you also can do is you can change the speed of the light leaks, of course. So for example, if you are working with a shot that's a little bit faster or slower, you can adjust the flickering speed of the light leak by simply applying an effect. And this is called time stretch. So I can now choose time stretch. And let's say I want to increase the speed of my light leak a little bit. So I would set the time stretch factor to 50%. And this means that I will double the speed of my light leak. It will, of course, also reduce the duration of my light leak, but this is no problem for us. So let's create a run preview. And now you see that the light leak is, is working a little bit faster. The leaks are, are uh, appearing and disappearing a little bit faster. And this creates a little bit more dynamic depending on your shot. Okay, so this is it with After Effects. Now I will switch to Adobe Premiere and let's take a look how we can use light leaks inside editing softwares. These techniques apply to every editing software like, like Final Cut or Avid or whatever you use, it's, it's more or less exactly the same. You can use these light leaks with nearly all editing softwares available. So let's choose one of our light leaks to add to our dancer here. And in this case, I will use light leak number seven, drag it into my project. After Effects will load it. And if we take a look here at our footage, you see we have this nice slow motion shot of this break dancer, also a preview from stock footage on video hive. And now I will apply my light leak by just dragging it on top here. And now again, we go into the effect controls panel. Uh, don't be surprised. I use the German layout here. So move to the effect controls panel, then set the scale. In my case, I need 25% because the preview resolution is quite small. And then I have to open up the opacity tab. This is a German for opacity. So open up the opacity tab and then change the blending mode from normal to screen. So this word negative multiplication is in fact really the word for German word for screen. 
and you see now my dancer is visible and if I now create a ramp preview or a preview I should say you see that this works even in real time so although it's a 4k overlay it's really working fast and you see that this adds quite a bit of action or life to our dancer here so pretty cool Okay, so this is it with this quick tutorial. If you already bought my pack on VideoHive, then thank you very much. I really appreciate your support. And if not, you can get this through my website, which is www.graphicinmotion.com or also through my VideoHive profile. So thank you very much for watching and I really hope to see you soon. Goodbye.